mentioned. All right, so today we have another brand new Android head unit. We're gonna be installing it on a 2018. I know a lot of you guys are asking about the newer 2016s to 2019s, and this is uh, the new new. So we're gonna be installing this. If you guys have a head unit like this, it's not gonna be a problem. If you have the seven inch, it's not gonna be a problem too for you limited boys. So let's get to it. Yo, I look at this. The colors, I'm playing the screen, it's beautiful, right? It's like IPS. Alright, looking kind of familiar. Now, to remove this head unit, it's actually um, a little bit more difficult than the older ones because there's actually a bolt on the side, I believe. So we're gonna knock that out fast. Oh, this looks clean though. But you have to make sure there's like some bolts on the side that you need to get to. So let's see if we can get to that angle. Uh, so there's a bolt right there. You can see a 10. Um, just unscrew it. I believe there's one on each side and then you can just pop it out with some clips. Next thing, I got one bolt here. There's another bolt here I haven't removed. But this piece right here just pulls right out. So I'm gonna pull it right out. I just used my nails. Um, so that's just the tool you're gonna need. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need two hands though. There you go. Make sure you disconnect the wires. So you just get that extra clearance. Now with these ones, they're actually kind of hard to remove. So I recommend removing the top one first. Uh, it just clipped in. And then this one, it's still kind of hard to hit. So I, I like to pop this little thing out and then remove the clip from here. Uh, just a little pro tip. I don't know if you guys might not see that, but you get you have two more bolts right here. Oh. Two more bolts you need to remove right here, and then the one. So they have four bolts in total for this head unit. Kind of a pain in the ass, but you just pull this clip, and it will expose a 10 mil, and you can't miss it. Uh, all bolts are unplugged. You should be able to just pull it out. All right. So, of course, you want to unplug all of this BS. This wire was kind of pain. But uh, you just press this little button. Uh, pain as in like it took an extra 10 seconds. But everything else was pretty self-explanatory. Notice that I have the microfiber towel to make sure there's no scratches. But that's how the interior looks. Looking pretty simple. Looking just pretty simple. All right. All right. So once you get this head unit, it is heavy. So I think the Android head unit is actually lighter. So if you guys are talking about gains, you can get some weight reduction up in here. Something you have to transfer over. Uh, you have you see these switches right here. You got the hazard and then the midfield display buttons. We're transferring over to the new Android head unit. But you also have to transfer over the climate controls. Just four screws right here. Oh my gosh! Look, look at Subaru, man. They cucked you. They have this bracket to block this screw. Come on, man. Cucked me right here. So I tried to un I unscrewed it through the little hole, but look at that. Just block. It's just cock blocking it so hard. Where I don't want to. This is this is not my car, so you know I want to take the extra time. We have to remove these bolts. So I have everything in, and everything's pretty much plug and play. This is the climate control. Now the thing is, um, I had to buy this uh, USB. So uh, links in the description below if you're trying to still retain the USB. And this goes right here in the uh, center cubby hole. A thing that I uh, we're not gonna have XM anymore, so pay attention to that and. I actually had to buy um, this harness from this website. Didn't come with this adapter right here, but usually if you ordered from a Sakane or something, they do uh, include this adapter. So um, just something to mind. This is for your radio for FM and AM. So it's kind of important, but let's continue. So I'll, I'll link the description on this and this just in case uh, you want. It. So we got the head unit right here. With the 2016, 17, 18, 19s, they use this vent design. A way you can tell is if you see have a silver bezel. Now this is the Android head unit. It comes with its own bezel, but the um, the 15s they don't have the silvers. 16, 17, 18, it has it, and they actually have their own vent designs. It's a little bit different. So with this, it's actually just clipped in. You, um, the way I do it is you want to start with this very corner one, and you want to tuck it right here. So you want to start from below, and I don't know if you guys can get a good angle, but there's four clips right here. And you, I mean, use your imagination. It's like four clips. How do you get clipped on? Um, you want to, it does require some finesse. So you hear those clicks, so it's clicking in. And you can see it's kind of overhanging right now. And then you want to clip the uh, last two. 
Oops, you get a good angle of that. Ooh. You want to kind of bend it and then just push it in. And this is snug, like OEM fitment. Now get a good look of the uh, the angles. Look, look at that flush, beautiful CNC 3D print. I'm just playing, but it's in and it's nice. Oh my goodness. So what's to come? So the next thing I want to do is install this, these bad boys. Um, four bolts, you just kind of bolt it in right here and you're set. Boom. But you need the four screws. Oh, shoot. oh you need the four screws. And then um, it's gonna look like something like that. Wow, the the 18s have this nice black vent. Subi Sp Speed sells these for really expensive. So instead of buying from Subi Speed, just trade in your car and then just get a 19 or 18. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the two bolts installed. Everything is looking tidy. All I have to do is plug it in and uh, we'll see. Something that's definitely not gonna work right now is definitely the radio. I have to top into that to get some power into it. Other than that, it should work. Um, it's pretty much plug and play right now besides the radio. Um, but yeah. Right, so I have the um, antenna plugged in right here and I also have the microphone and USBs. Now, as you can see right here, the USBs are connected through, I have one with the adapter, and I actually have another one, because this one comes with two, through a, um, the glove box. As far as the microphone hookup, if you move to the left with me, you see right there, this is where I have it, and I tucked it in, and it goes all the way around into here. So, um, this is where I have my microphone, and it sounds pretty good, so. It uses two microphones, one right here and one right there to cancel and try to just pick up on the driver's voice. Other than that, we're just gonna plug it in. Hopefully it works. Let's do it. The big reveal, first boot up, we have an audience. I still have the, uh, ooh, so it's turning on. The first thing you definitely wanna test out, and there's this little the screen protector, so it looks kind of bugged. But the first thing you want to test out is radio and audio. Audio for sure, because sometimes if you have a car has a different amp and stuff, you're going to get no sound. Uh, follow up by that, you definitely want to check out the steering wheel controls, USB access, navigation, and that goodness. All right, so we just need to plug in that radio adapter in the back, and radio works with, you got the metadata and everything. Sounds pretty good. It probably sounds better than the stock unit. The stock unit's amp is not very good, but radio quality is not the best so um bluetooth quality is also not the best but uh we're still, there's some compression there but i'm just gonna sound a lot better than radio so to have you can set up your bluetooth through this thing right here uh we, are, we just set up tom's phone right here um so there's uh there's that um there's so we're just gonna have to go to the bluetooth app so for you to play at your bluetooth music you actually have to go to the source and the source is right here bluetooth music uh, play anything you want. I'm gonna play a non-copyrighted song so that way you don't get uh, Oh, things. this guy, I got this you, guy man. knows things. That's the AC knobs, bro. I forgot. I don't have it on. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to the AC knobs for the volume! Uh, I don't, we haven't set this yet, but we'll do this. You're gonna have to get used to tapping instead of volume. I love this. Sounds good. So these units dev uh, generally pump more power into the speakers. So because of more power, it actually kind of wakes up your original speakers. Uh, he knows his car setup more than me. It might sound the same, it might sound not. We actually have another head unit right there. We can compare this. If we want, we could do an audio comparison, see which one sounds better because it's like the exact same unit. But um, yeah, clean steering wheel. Next off we need to do is doing the wheel keys for the steering wheel so wheel key studies right here you click on this it's a blank state if you know about gaming keyboards and stuff you have to set your own hotkeys and stuff so right here i'm gonna hit the plus sign it automatically reads now there's a short click and there's a long click for a short click let's do volume um what about a long click that's kind of up to you so then we do a short one again for uh volume down there you go, right, it will be uh, skip, right? Is that how it is for the factory? So we do the next song. 
All right, so I set up all these keys and uh, I did just show the short clicks. I actually haven't done this one, so I gotta show the last one right here. So this one's the mute, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go find the mute icons. Very intuitive. And there you go. Here are all my hot keys. They're all short presses, but um, you can do long presses later. There you go. So if I go here, lower volume, set. You want to change your Bluetooth songs, you're good. If you want to make your own hotkeys, you're good. So everything is working right now, right? There's nothing, no, no weird anomalies. Let's actually try this charger. Is your thing already hooked up? Yep. Should charge it. There you go, it's charging. And now he also has another USB. It's a brilliant, it's brilliant. So this is plug and play. Um, just for the, if you don't the FM I had to use uh, my own cable you have to buy it here if you don't have one But um, contact the seller if they don't have it um, they should but if they don't it's there um, Do you have any questions? No, I'm thoroughly impressed thoroughly impressed. Okay, uh, we'll do some sound comparisons and like a and I'll just give us a full review after we make it look nice and pretty because right now we still have the climb control um, kind of dangling yeah all right, so we have it in. Why don't you do the honor since you're the owner? So you want to take this off? Yep. So we can actually use the touch screen without being glitchy. And I'm failing. I just cut my nail. <laughs> you cut your nail. Oh my gosh. There you go. I got it started for you. There you go, man. <laughs> ASMR moment. All right. Oh. Yo, I look in mid. That's good. That's home screen. The colors, I'm telling you, the screen looks beautiful, right? It's like yeah, IPS. Nice. How's the viewing angles on your side? Still very good. Very good viewing How angles on this. My, if you don't, I'm talking about like to um, Tom, which is the owner. If, if he doesn't like this user interface, he can download a different launcher. There's actually some really cool Car Pro launchers and stuff like that. Check out my video top five apps you can get for your Android. You know, it's just it's some good stuff. Yeah. But um, if you don't like this way it looks right here, because there's ones that are tailored more for a car, and you can put your own backgrounds and stuff if you're looking for, uh, you're putting your own logos and stuff, depending on how you like it. So there you go. I just did that background, but depending on what you want, I'll change it back. Uh, but yeah, that's it. 2016, 17, 18. This is a 2018? Yes. You can tell by the black knobs and then the, the nice looking screen up there. So it's plug and play for the most part. Um, it's it's actually a very easy to install. It's just uh, 100 degrees right now. Peace.